from high above the city of Atlanta. Greetings, everyone. You've got it live on Tuesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. And tonight, our matchup, you'll see the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Miami Heat. This is Kevin Harlan along courtside with Brett Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge on our sideline. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thanks. Bam Adebayo is a first-time All-Star in 2020. He was the 14th pick in 2017. And he said, whoever gets drafted, you want to play the right way. My situation was different. I had to sit. You gain experience and reps during practice. Once you get to do it in the game, the leash gets longer, and you get to become who you want to be. Kevin, he's become one of the best young big men in the league. All right, thank you, David. So here's Miami's starting group. Davis is out there with Jimmy Butler. Then there's Hampton. Then it's Robinson. And it's Autobio in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Atlanta, Young and Herter make up the backcourt. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. And it's Capella in at the center position. So Atlanta will get the first possession. And here's Young. What a tremendous game he played against New York. Hunter, no one around him. And a miss there on the triple. Here's Butler. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Man, hard to stop on the drive. Butler's strength and attitude right there. Coming in the finish. And Young kicks to Hunter. Fades away. Shot by Collins, no good. Now, Hampton. He's coming off a 16-point game against Washington. And Adebayo gets it to go on the assist by Hampton. Well, Bam Adebayo is so efficient right there. He picks a smart shot that fits his skill set. Collins passes to Young. Shoots from the elbow. Count it. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. Yeah, he's got to be a little bit more on their radar after knocking down something like that. Now, here's Butler. 20 points for him last game against Washington. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. The shot by Autobio, no good. The Hawks have gone just one of four to get this game started. And that one is good. Young's got his second bucket. You gotta keep the ball moving, and that time Herder's pass leads to an open look. Loads it up for Davis. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley -oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. <laughs> And I think for years to come, you're going to be talking about the draft that Trey Young was involved in as the picks got swapped. One franchise getting their guy, and this team finding Trey Young. And he's been a blessing for where they need to go. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Brent, you know the Hawks believed in Trey Young on draft day. They made the trade for him and gave up a chance at Doncic. Well, I don't look at it like that, Kevin. I look at it like Atlanta got their guy. It's not about who else was on the board. It's the fact that they could get their number one choice, and that was Trey Young. And you just can't get tired of watching the way Young shoots the ball. I mean, what a fantastic release. And it's just limitless in terms of the range. That's what makes it so impressive. He's a small guy, he's quick, and he's got great handles. But he can heave that up from just about anywhere. And when he gets hot, it's something to watch. Now, here's Hunter. Following the miss by Anthony Davis. Young with the ball. Picked up by Davis. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart. And then all of a sudden, it was maybe a little too flashy there. And that, uh, that's unfortunate. So it's Atlanta now. Jimmy Butler unable to get his last shot to go. Six to shoot. Passes to Herter. I'm deep. Atlanta now working with a new shot clock. 
Hunter with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Yeah, that's a shoot-around shot as Hunter had plenty of space to knock it down. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Butler trying to get open is Davis, and it's Butler missing. Maybe a time to rest him right now, just give him a bit of a breather, try to help him get back on track. Young taking his time here. Here's Herter. He's guarded by Adebayo. And Herter gets it to go. Herter making it look easy that time on the pick and roll as the off guard. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Atlanta. And even though they were the better team overall, they actually lost the season series against this club a year ago. Hampton. He showed up every night and some noteworthy performances over the last month. He's averaging 11 points a game, six assists, and six rebounds. And he's done his share of the work for the team, definitely making an impact. Well, the numbers, if you look at them, impressive all the way around, and he's not letting the team down. Now, here's Hampton. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Outside, Robinson. Looking to end the run. Rebounded by the Hawks. It's a six-point game. Now, here is Young. He's got six. Fires the three. Robinson pulls it in. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Yeah, kind of fun when you have a fast break where guys want to join you. And Jimmy Butler, he's a member of the party. Young pass to Capella. Back to Young. Misses the layup. And there's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. A three-pointer is right on target. Well, Jimmy Butler is a wing that you're going to have to stay connected to out there. That was a sweet stroke. Now, here's Collins. A 17-point game for him in the win against New York. And watch out, you don't bring the whole basket down on top of you, young fella. I don't think he ever wanted to let go of the rim. Hampton kicks to butt. Good. Score the basket. Mark him four for eight. Shooting 50% so far. Just a great show of Butler's upper body strength right there as he plays through the contact. Young from outside connects from three-point range. Young's got nine. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Here's Herter. That's in, coming off the assist from Young. He's got six. The Heat trail by four. Outside Robinson. Addition out to Davis. Good ball movement here by the Heat. To the inside, Hampton. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Good, smart, patient play by Jimmy Butler that time. You leave someone that wide open, and he's going to find him. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks. <laughs> And the 
Hawks with a completely new group on the floor. And a new group in for the Heat. Kelly Olynyk's checked in for Davis. Ken Bazemore comes in for Butler. Tyler Hero, he's checked in for Duncan Robinson. And it's Turner in for Hampton. Moutier with the basket. I don't know how you guard that kind of move there. Shown off by Moutier, an incredible play. Hero passes to Bazemore. Kicks it to Turner. Back to Bazemore. Shot clock at six. And here's Olenek from the arc. Offensive rebound. Out of bio. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Cam Reddish. Out of bio on the inside. Knows he has to go up hard. He's going to get hit. And he forces the D to do it that time. Under six. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And Bam Adebayo has a chance to be a very good interior defender. The way he moves his feet, and because he's so physical, he's a presence down there. And he can't hit the second. And Brent Story has it in his draft workouts. The Heat ran out of bio to exhaustion. Then put him to the test, carding wing play. Yeah, they looked at him and said, in effect, you must not know who I am and the kind of work that I've done. He's got that kind of edge, and that's the thing that this Heat culture is always looking for. And drafted 13th out of Kentucky. Tyler Hero impressing right out of the gates that rookie season. And I think this is very much the type of player that comes in with confidence, a skill level, and an IQ, and ultimately a guy who wants to compete. The first free throw is good. And since entering the league, Tyler Hero has had higher expectations for himself than anybody else. And with that kind of size as a guard and his shooting ability, he very much will realize it. And he makes both free throws. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Moutier looking around. And stolen by Bazemore. They're running. Holds it up for Adebayo. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. That's everything you want there. Bam Adebayo up there. Vertical. Good hands. And the big throwdown. Berea dishes to Carmelo. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Count that one. And now it's a three-point heat lead. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash-mouth physical basketball, guys. Now here's Berea. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Baysmore. No one around him. No good from outside. And for Atlanta, they come in off a good outing against New York. Here's Anthony. The Hawks again can't hit. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up with the Heat. Pass to Hero. Olenek with it. Guarded by Berea. And he makes that one. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. The Hawks trail by five. Now the pass to Jones. Here's Anthony. He's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. His first make, and, you know, maybe that will get him going. Pass to Hero. Now Olenek passes it to Hero. Five on the clock over Moutier. Here's Autobio. Off with the layup. Atlanta's gone 105 from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Mello getting up and slamming one home. Heat shooting 45% from the field early. Here's Hero. His last outing, he had eight points. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. 
close games can boil down to who makes plays on defense. And that is one heck of a rejection right there. Here is Barea. Pass to Jones. Houdier kicks to Barea. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Here's Adebayo. That ball. Nice feed that time from Turner. Adebayo's got nine. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Here's Anthony. Here's Jones. Makes it off the glass. Man, that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Now here's Baysmore. His last outing, he had eight points. Here's Olenek. Berea pulls it in. The Hawks trailing to the middle. Here's Anthony, and it's Anthony with the jam. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding. It's rising up off the ground. Hero passes to Olenek over Anthony. And Melo using all of his length to stretch that one out there. Good job contesting that shot. Trey Young, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Atlanta. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with them. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And we spoke with Jimmy Butler not too long ago about his teammates. These guys work so hard and they're young and they're professional with it. Um, that you're, you're, you're playing that seed early. So they can only get better in their learning and they're gaining confidence because they're playing so well. So with me being here with these guys, we're special. Well, Greg, it sounds like Butler has found happiness. You know, people don't talk enough about fit. It's important to be in an organization and a system that maximizes your ability. Butler is playing some of the best ball in his life and making everyone around him better. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. Well, from what you guys are seeing from the Hawks, what are you thinking about their performance? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Keep plays alive with your activity. That's what it's about. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court right now for the Hawks, Jones is out there with Anthony. Then there's Emmanuel Moutier. Then it's Reddish. And it's Berea in at the point guard position. Miami with the ball. That will be their second of six road games for the team. Turner passes to Hero. He kicks it to Baysmore. They get a hand on it. Out of bounds. Atlanta will take possession. And a brief moment now to see who's atop the NBA in team free throws. In fourth, the Heat. You know, it's really a team-wide talent. You want to foul to stop layups, but against them, you're not saving much. They'll make you pay time and again. Maria, the pass to Moutier. The shot missing. Now the Heat take it the other way. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Tremendous boys on the offensive end. Overall, they did not settle for bad shots. Saw the box score the next day and thought about those percentages. They had guys just going off in that one. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, thanks very much, Kevin. Clint Capella is a seven-footer in track shoes. He said, I always try to have that pace. Whenever I sprint, I have an impact on the offense. I try to focus on that and keep my energy up. Guys, guards love big men who run the floor as hard as Capella. Back to you. He is indeed, David, very athletic. Thanks. Now, here's Reddish. Following the miss by Anthony Davis. Now, here's Moutier. He's covered closely. Precision pass from Moutier to get his teammate a good look there. The Heat trail by four. 
They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Now, we get a chance to check out some stats for him. For Miami, they have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And looking at the numbers this season, they're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. A different look for Miami. Jimmy Butler comes in for Kent Bazemore. And Hampton subbed in for Evan Turner. And he sinks the second. Atlanta leading by three. Young right side over Hampton in Atlanta again with the bucket. He just gets this offense going. Young operating in the mid-range this time. Butler dishes to Hampton. And Young comes over to help. Butler from outside. It's rebounded by Herter. Hawks have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. The pass to Hunter. Outside Cowan. Pass to Young. From deep three-point range, Atlanta gets it back. Capella with the bucket. Just has a nose for the ball. Capella skilled at gaining ideal position for those offensive rebounds. Now, here's Hampton. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Yeah, the defender all over. Miami shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Taking two shots. Under six. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Duncan Robinson, he's checked in for the Heat. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Atlanta leading by five. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. That one falls. Herder's going to make you pay if you give him that much room. He'd have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. Hampton kicks to Davis. Pass to Olenek. Trying to get open is Davis. And Olenek gets it to go on the assist this by Davis. Olenek's got his second basket of the game. And for everything that Anthony Davis does on the floor, you can't forget about his defense. Still an elite-level defender. Guards multiple positions and turns away a number of shots. Here's Hampton following the basket by Trey Young. There's the feed to Davis. Over Collins. Olenek tried to break loose. It's good. And the Hawks lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Anthony Davis. And Davis gets a lot of blocks without getting in foul trouble. About a one-to-one -one ratio for him in his career. Uh, incredible. And he's done a great job of learning how to go straight up, playing vertical. Gets blocks, but doesn't get pulled out of position. Does everything you want from a defensive anchor. Here's Hampton after the made shot from John Collins. Offensive rebound, and Davis puts it in. Yeah, this story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Young drives in. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Hampton, Young with the steal. Here's Herder. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Butler passes to Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. Whenever AD is floating around the basket like he was there, you know if he gets the ball, he's going to go for the jam. Young with the ball. Picked up by Davis. Pass to Collins. Over Hampton. And that one hits back iron. The Heat trail by five. He feeds it to Butler. Yes, that goes in. Butler's got 11.
This is feeling a little bit too easy right now for Jimmy Butler out there. Young outside and finished off by Collins. Yeah, when Collins gets up there like that, look out. For Miami, they've gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. And the Heat call time here. Now well, for the teams that are clearly rebuilding, should they simply play the young guns, Greg, no matter what, or they make them earn their minutes? Kev, you know, I don't know that there's a, a, a right answer to that. I think it's really about the personnel and the personalities of the guys on that roster. And really, the front office should play a big role in that as well. But it, it's, a, it's a hard call. You got to believe enough in those young guys to say, hey, that's our future. We're going in that direction. Uh, but you still got to also take care of your veteran guys who are kind of setting the table for your future. For a limit. And a moment down to check out the numbers for Young. The past month has been surreal. Averaging 34 points, 8 assists, and 3 rebounds. They're loving how he's running the show here. His sensational passing really breathing life into their offense. Something in the coach's playbook here where the schemes fire on all cylinders when he is in the game. A great conduit for them offensively. He knows where everyone is at all times. Two points. That one goes. Robinson's got his first pass. Atlanta leading by three. Herter passes to Collins. Young outside. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game. And he's been a great option for them on these possessions. The Hawks shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. And how about as a group, 80% on the season, one of their best attributes. And that one falls for Young. This could go down as the win-win trade of the draft over the last three or four years. The fifth pick in 2018, Trey Young traded on draft day for Luka Doncic and they might have put a little chip on his shoulder one that he played with in the second half of his rookie season and so young will bring it up for the Hawks six point lead they are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game and the difference in that one the efficiency from range they really focused on getting good looks it looked like the directive in that game was that they wanted to attack and all that work that they put in on the perimeter turned into a big night from deep. And that's Jimmy Butler with a great finish there. Good hands to catch the pass and throw it through. Shots good from Young. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. The Hawks leading by four. And Young, here we go. It falls for basket number nine from the field. He's taken 14 shots to get there. Seemed to be laying in the weeds there in the first quarter, but now we're seeing him come out, put all the cards on the table, and ramp it up. And the basket by Hampton. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. Young drives in, and he uses the glass on the layup. Young's got 24. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Hampton kicks to Davis. They get it back. Adebayo on the follow. Bam grabs the board, and then Bam knows what to do. Atlanta's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Capella finds Young. Outside Collins. The pass to Herter from downtown. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Hampton misses. The Hawks leading by four. Young outside. And the three ball is good. 27 points for him. 
Trey Young looking like one of those young players who on a nightly basis gives you something you haven't seen before. To the left side wing. Here's Autobio. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Capella's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Hunter. And it's Miami with the rebound. Davis has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. He can't hit that time. Good work defensively by Capella. Popped up there for Collins. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by out of bounds. And now let's take a look at the most efficient scoring teams in the NBA. In the third spot, the Hawks. So patient on the offensive end. I mean, they're not going to force shots. And it's that selectiveness that's yielded such an impressive field goal percentage. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Baysmore is checked in for Jimmy Butler. Tyler Hero comes in for Robinson. And Turner's subbed in for Hampton. Now here's Moutier. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. No coverage that time. Davis has got 11 here in this quarter alone. AD knew this was coming. He would have to work on becoming a decent three-point shooter. More than that on that position. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. For Atlanta, they have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. Carmelo Anthony. And he knocks down the first one. Lamelo still bringing the passion to the floor. No matter what's going on around, he's still going to be a gamer. Both free throws good from Anthony. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Hero passes to Turner. Lock at six. Here's Baysmore. It's stolen by Reddish. Now the Hawks moving it the other way. Moutier with the ball. And Reddish, the bucket on the assist for Moutier. Reddish has got the lead up to nine now for Atlanta. Turner against Berea. Turner looking around. Feeds it to Davis. Good work defensively by Anthony. Defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. And so it's Atlanta. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Trey, you've made it look easy so far. How have you been able to pick them apart? Uh, I'm just taking what the defense has given me. Uh, open driving lanes. Uh, they're leaving some of our bigs open. Uh, pick and roll, things like that. We've got to continue to do it and uh, try to get this win. Make them pick their poison, right? Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. And now the 2K Sports Halftime Show. 
Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. We saw Trey Young lighting it up in the first half. He had 27 points, two assists, and one steal. Coming off a great game last time out, he's turning it up a notch already here tonight. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Hawks' first half. Well, it's a nice, patient offense they're running tonight. Uh, they're not forcing shots. They're waiting for the good ones. And as efficient as they've been, no wonder they're in front. Kenny, what would you think about Miami? Well, after the field goal percentage they allowed in the first half, it's time for them to get tough. That's right, tough. If they're going to stay in this game, they'll need to turn this into a street fight. Get physical. Let some elbows go. Yes, let them go. And guys know they're going to be no more easy baskets in here. Let them know that. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. It's been one outstanding game from Trey Young. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Here's who Eric Spolstra is starting the second half with. Davis is out there with Otto Bayer. Then there's Jimmy Butler. Then there's Hampton. And it's Robinson in at the two-guard spot. Now here's Hampton. And Davis can't get it to go. Young for three. It's Otto Bayo with the rebound. Otto has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And here is Hampton. Down low, here's Davis. He gets it in there. Davis has got the opening bucket to start the second half for Miami. And just such great work from the athletic big man, Anthony Davis. He's so devastating on offense. And Collins now top the key. Here's Herter. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. And it's Davis finishing it off. And when AD takes off from the ground for alley-oops like this one, it really demoralizes the opponent. And finished off by Collins. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. With the Outside Butler. Let's go. Atlanta with the rebound. And Bones with that Clint Capella trade last year to the Hawks. A, a bit of a surprise to many, but the Hawks were able to land a young and talented center. And maybe GA the perfect fit for how it is that their team is constructed around Trey Young. Capella is going to be that pick and roll option, can finish above the rim, and is a good defender to protect the guys on the defensive end. Here's Hampton after Clint Capella's bucket. Hampton, basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Free throw drops for Hampton. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Pass to Herter. And here is Capella. Kicks to Hunter. Just five to shoot. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Atlanta gets it back in a new 14. And it's Capella missing. The Heat trail by eight. From the line, Butler no good. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. They've led by as many as 11 points. 
That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Young's got 29 in the game. Hampton with the ball. Young's there. Passes it to Autobahn. Butler deciding where to go with it. Over Hunter. It will go down, and the Hawks' lead is cut back down to eight after they get the basket from Jimmy Butler. I like the timing, too. Jimmy Butler just bursting off of that pick to get to his shot. Now, here is Young. He has 29. It's blocked. Outside Butler. To the paint. Now, Collins. He has six. The kick out to Young. Uses the glass to finish the way. Young's got four points in the quarter. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Hampton with the ball. Capella's there. And it's Davis missing. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. No, he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. Pass to Davis. And there's the pass to Autobio. Lays it up and banks it in. Autobio's got 13. Well, you know, Davis, and he knows, is going to draw the attention of multiple defenders, and that time connects with a teammate to get it done. Young, Collins trying to break free. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. He's made all three of his free throws so far. Atlanta making some changes. Anthony comes in for DeAndre Hunter. And Emmanuel Moutier subbed in for Kevin Herter. And then for Miami, Olenek, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. Earl comes in for Robinson. And Turner's subbed in for Hampton. And that one falls for Young. The Heat trail by 13. Turner with it. To the right side. And here's Olenek from the arc. And he's easily been their best rebounder tonight. Well, he's been everywhere, and collecting those rebounds, that ends any kind of offensive possession and gets them started. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Timeout called the Heat. And what was once a weakness for Collins, now a strength. His defense has taken huge strides since the start of last season. And I think a, a young player like John Collins learns that blocks are not just a statistic that reveal how good you can be defensively. It's about positioning. It's about communication. And John Collins wants to be more complete on that end of the floor. Change here. Jones is checked in. Kent Bazemore is checked in for Miami. The Heat trail by 15. Pass to Hero. Now here's Bazemore. Sinks the three pointer. Bazemore's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. But once Bazemore gets the ball off the pass, he immediately skies up for the jump shot and nails it. You like to see that kind of assertive, aggressive, confident attitude. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for the Heat. Passes it to Baseman. Turner inside. Covered by Anthony. The shot by Turner no good. Let's it fly from 18. The Heat have gone 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. Hero passes to Autobahn. Scores the bucket. He's 7 for 11 and continues to look good. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Pretty easy right now. Clear out. Give him some space. Let him get to work. The Heat trail by 14. 
outside turn. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Uh, Evan Turner was not going to be denied. The decision was to drive, and he stuck with it there. This is his first free throw of the game. And he makes the first. That's what we saw with Evan Turner before he joined this ball club was the ability to play multiple positions. And he's so versatile. He can do a little bit of everything, run the team through him, and also be an off-the-ball scorer. Reddish, he's checked in for Atlanta. Both shots good from the strike. Atlanta leading by 12. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Turner. Young determined on that play there. The foul not keeping him from getting up the shot. The Hawks have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. The Heat making a switch here. Hampton's checked in. And so he's able to get one of two. The Heat trail by 13. Inside. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Good job by Tyler just finding the open teammate and showing some good awareness. And here's Young on the arc. Kept alive by Atlanta. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. With a break in the action, let's go to the 2K leaderboard for a look at this season's stingiest defensive team. The Heat in second. I mean, terrific rim protection. I mean, they rotate and help on the inside as well as anybody. And, Take of course, you want to keep offenses on the outside shooting jump shots, and that continues to be the goal. First free throw is good. And so Jones nails both of them. The Heat trail by 13. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. J.J. Barea has checked in for Trey Young. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. Now, here's Berea. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. The Hawks again can't hit. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Hero passes to Autobio. He kicks it to Olenek. Four on the shot clock. Here's Hampton. That one a little long. And it's Moutier with the ball. He brings it up for Atlanta. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Minnesota where they'll take on the Timberwolves. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Time out, time Good job out. to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out.
check now of the stats. Fair buy it. The last 10 games, he has been on a heck of a run. He's around 18 points per game, 10 rebounds, and two assists. And it says a lot that when we see numbers like this from him, we aren't even shocked. He, he's that good. Yeah, and we really have just grown to get used to his greatness, and that's the level for him that he's on right now. On deep, Berea, that one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Berea's got his first three points of the game. Now here's Bazemore, guarded closer. A shot that time, not on target. So the Hawks will take it the other way. And he comes up with the deuce. Romello likes to get to the pull up. He uses that dribble so very well, establishing space, and then lets it rip. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. And so far this season, shooting at a 75% clip from the line. Under six. throw good out of bio you wonder just what it is that's next for bam as he's shown incredible improvement in a very short amount of time as one of the more versatile bigs in the league and the hawks making a change here collins has checked in and out of bio drops them both and even though they're down they are putting on a show at the free throw line has to come Here's Anthony. Baseline try. Shot by Collins, no good. The Heat trail by 16. Loads it up for Adebayo. An emphatic LU jam. And Adebayo's game continues to grow. He's on fire right now. Berea dishes to Anthony. And it's Miami with the rebound. Baysmore's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Hero. The pass to Olenek to the inside. And Adebayo gets it to go on the assist from Olenek. Adebayo's got 12 points now in the quarter. Boudier pass to Collins. Dishes it to Carmelo. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. Now, here's Moutier. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. Outside Anthony. And then Jones with the jam. Melo good at scanning the entire floor, and that's why that time he found the open teammate. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And it's Adebayo in the corner. Back to Bazemore. Here's Hero. Hands the shot with nobody near him. Hero's got five. Tyler Hero ready to pull the trigger at any time. Pass to Collins. Up again, and Collins is right there. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? And so it's the Atlanta Hawks with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. Right back after this break. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's what great passing will do for you right there. Dissecting the defense with that play.
and one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Then it's Clint Capella. Then there's J.J. Barea. And it's Herter in at the two guard. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Here's Herter. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Here's what the Atlanta Hawks have lined up on their schedule. On Thursday, they'll take on Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And then on Friday, they'll face off against Ben Simmons and the Philadelphia 76ers. And it's going to be home game after home game after home game for this group. So they got a great chance to string together a number of wins given how strong they've been playing. That's just an outstanding pick and roll there to get Davis diving to the rim. Once he gets the pass, the shot was as simple as it gets. And Davis sends it back. Here's Butler. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Robinson's got three assists tonight. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Maria, the pass to Herter. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. You wonder with talent around him how much more Kevin Herter's offensive game can grow. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Robinson kicks to Hampton. He dishes it to Olenek, and he drops in the layup off the glass. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The Hawks leading by 11. Passes it to Collins. To the paint. Here's Herter. Excellent D that time from Robinson. The Heat have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Hampton passes to Davis. And they double up Davis. And slam dunk by Butler. Yeah, Jimmy Butler just too athletic on that play. Look at the height. And it's Berea with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. They led by as many as 18 points. Outside Collin. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Davis. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Here's Hampton. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And, and won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Young's checked in for the Hawks. Under six. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Pass to Collins. Packed in, coming off the assist from Young. Young's got five assists in the game. And Capella over to help. Butler finds Olenek on the mark with the 15-footer. Olenek's got four points in the quarter. Makes Olenek tough. Outside, inside, and the mid-range. To Herter. Kicks it out to Cowan. Another three for Atlanta. Yeah, that's two straight three pointers they've allowed. Outside Robinson. Here's the pass to Hampton. Good ball movement here by Miami. And that one drops for him. Butler's got 21. Well, right now, Jimmy Butler is in the zone. On its way from Young for two. They get it again. Capella lays it up off the glass. And the Hawks lead by 10. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy put back. Hampton kicks to Buck. Robinson down low. He's against Young. Down to five on the shot clock. Pulls up on the elbow. And it's John Collins with the rebound. Collins has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Young, cool. Young's got 41. 
Uh, with the finish line in sight, this guy is determined to be the one to put the game away. Now, here's Hampton. From 12 feet out, and that one comes up a bit short. It's Young on the wing. Count it. Young's got 43 points. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Well, he hasn't missed yet, guys, and the defense is scrambling for answers to stop this hot start. Pass to Young. Outside, Cowan. Back to Young. Over Davis. But they recover it. Three-pointer, and it's Miami with the rebound. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. Here's Herter. Well, Herter showed some great progress in his first year, and now showing how much more comfortable he is. Shooting for Atlanta. Kevin Herter. Two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. Kevin Herter's favorite player growing up was Dwayne Wade, and that's why he wears the number three. He hits both from the strike. The Heat trail by 14. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Outside Robinson. Over Collins. Robinson misses. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. A nice shot by Young. They are just killing him on the interior. And here are the Heat now. Here's Hampton. Passes it to Olenek. Now, here's Hampton. Defended by Young. Five to shoot. The Heat need to get a shot off. Robinson, that's good. You gotta try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. And Kelly Olenek is gonna pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Bam Adebayo's checked in for Miami. Here's Capella. Hunter kicks to Young. And the three off target. Well, he got off to a terrific start from the perimeter, but in the second half, he can't seem to build on that early success. Autobio passes to Robinson. Here's Davis. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. 19 points for Anthony Davis. Collins up top. There's the dish to Young. And it's denied. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. Collins passes to Young. Here's Herter. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. Herter's got 11 in the second half. Hampton passes to Robinson. Kicks it to Davis. Good ball movement here by Miami. Outside Robinson. Atlanta with the rebound. Collins has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. And here's Young from the arc. It's good from long range. Young's got 48. Watch out now that he's got his first three of the half. There will be more in store. And that one, good. A great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. 
And here's Young from the arc. Rebound by Butler. And, and maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the post spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to tell him to ease up off the threes. And, and maybe that'll trigger them impossible time out, time out. not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Atlanta calls timeout. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. present our New Balance player of the game, R.J. Hampton. And he's been the man running the show for them, and, and boy, has he done a great job. He's up in the double digits in assists, and more than a few of those have been of the spectacular variety. Uh, for them to be successful, his passing has to be a key component, and tonight it was on display. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey guys, Lloyd Pierce talked with his team during that last time out. He talked about the mindset they need to have and what he wants to see the rest of the way. Engagement at both ends and making good decisions with the ball. Guys? Thank you, David. Butler attacking and plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And there's the foul. This goes against Atlanta. Yeah, Jimmy determined there just to get inside and fight for an opportunity to get an attempt up. Two stops. Last on the first. Free throw, good Butler. Having played for a few teams now over the course of his NBA career, Jimmy Butler brings one thing to the table, and that is that he's going to compete no matter where he is. He's perfect from the line this time. And Atlanta has possession. They led by as many as 18 points. Here's Young. Oh, that's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. to Herter. Now the feed to Capella. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. And the defense Capella provides is huge. I mean, a legitimate shot blocking threat who also rebounds the ball at an efficient rate. Two shots. Shooting two. That free throw missing. And the second free throw, good. The Heat trail by 11. It's Davis on the wing. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Collins. Intelligent play there by Davis. He knows he has the defense on their heels as soon as he gets the ball that close to the rim. First one drops. I just wonder for teams that are playing against Anthony Davis, 48 minutes of that kind of length out on the floor, he just becomes an imposing player defensively. And 
And both free throws good for Davis. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. And here's Young. Another bucket. Wow. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. Inside. It's good. And the Hawks lead is cut down to nine. They're back within single digits after that one from Davis. Now, here is Young. Defense is right there. Here's the teardrop. He lays it in. Young's got 52 points. So tricky there with the floater and a nice touch from Trey Young. And the pass to Davis. Trying to get open is Adebayo. And there's Davis. That's good on the assist by Hampton. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Here's Young. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Young's got 54 points. Now the threat of Trey Young, we talk so much about gravity in the NBA. It's unlocking some other scoring options. Strong take. Well, the body language right now is not looking good for this basketball team. The game might be out of reach, but they have to avoid mistakes like that. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces, as it appears it'll be a nice win here for Atlanta. Nothing like second-chance buckets to pick up the scoring pace. Yeah, it was impressive how they piled on the extra points, hitting the offensive glass, and then also winning the 50-50 ball battle. So looking at the season total, this will be their 17th win. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Trey Young. It was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him, and they didn't. Down low, Capella, and the jump by Capella. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive yes. game, but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Stolen by Collins. Young outside. And so it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Kevin. Trey, you guys had a look in your eyes tonight, so how satisfying was this win? I mean, it feels great. It feels great getting the win. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, I'm just here to help my team win, whoever we're playing against, and um, that, that's all I care about. Well, you all certainly did what you had to to get this win, man. Congratulations. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.